Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we'll learn how to make a splash screen animation for your app using Figma prototyping tool. Let's get started. To follow me in this tutorial, go to the description of this video and download the exercise file. So when we open the exercise file, you can find a progress bar interactive component and the image of our splash screen loading and the last screen home screen of our app. All right. And also if you want to learn how to make a progress bar, I will not cover this in this tutorial, but I will leave a link for a tutorial where you can build a progress bar from zero. All right. So let's go and create a new page. And let's start by selecting a phone frame. And let's pick the ellipse and let's draw an ellipse. You can hit the shift key, click and drag to draw a perfect ellipse. Now you can drag it down to the bottom left of your frame. All right, rename this step one. Click Command C and Command V to duplicate. Select the ellipse and center it in the frame. And then hit the K key and scale it up until it cover all our frame. All right. Now let's give it a gradient color. Let's go to resource plugins and let's pick UI gradient all right I would like to pick this gradient color also for my first ellipse I will apply the same gradient color now let's duplicate this step once again and now first Hit the K key and shift and command and scale down. All right. Now let's go and remove the gradient and add a light blue color. Now let's go to our concept and let's pick this image, command C and let's select and paste it here. All right. Now let's go and hit the text tool and let's write one letter for our logo. Let's give it 60 extra bold, enter font face and extra bold. All right, so we have written just one letter. Now let's duplicate this letter and move it to the side. So we want to write our logo in a series of letters so we can animate this text. So we also, yeah, we need just five, um, five letters. Shopping. Maybe we need another one and let's group command G to group everything. Let's rename it to logo. Select all the letters and give them a space between. Just like that. So let's clip and you can see as you can see. We have created space between each one and then we'll animate it. All right. So let's move it down until it disappear. 
in our frame if we clip our content as you can see the letter will disappear also for our first image let's move it to the side like that make sure it is inside the step 3 frame this frame and then let's clip our content alright now simply command C and command V to duplicate clip content and let's move this to the center and move the text you know something like that and for the space between let's go back to zero and sound all right now let's go to assets and select the progress bar and drop it here to the bottom and also let's create a new text layer loading right, so let's give it a font size of 14 and light and for the color let's give it a gray color make sure it is central all right now to see our progress in the animation let's go to the prototype and let's connect this first one with the second and let's select after delay smart animate gentle and here we give it one millisecond also all right and this will be 600 millisecond let's connect the second one with the third one also after delay one millisecond and 400 millisecond gentle smart animate make sure it is after delay and then here let's connect it after delay this will be 100 and 1600 millisecond and for our after delay one millisecond all right now let's go and select our flow and let's see our animation great now go to 100 percent all right and as you can see our progress bar so next we'll add free image you know we'll make the animation like this image will change while this progress bar will load so let's go to assets let's make it as simple as possible select those two images and let's go here and pass it inside the step 4 all right and let's move this to the side so we need to have our image contained in the same frame first maybe this hit the k key and scale it down also for this and also you can use any image you want for your prototype all right but make sure 
everything is inside one frame then let's go and hit command C and command V to duplicate and let's select the three image and move the first one to the side until the second one will be centered all right and here in our progress bar if you go to component we have uh, five variants let's select the third variant all right so we simulate that when it comes to this image the loading will be here also we synchronize it with the loading time using the prototype smart animation also you know excuse me command C and command V this is our last screen and let's move the three image to the side until the last one will appear and for the fun I will rotate this one all right like this and for my progress bar I will pick variant 4 and now let's bring the home screen of our app you can pick your home screen app all right maybe I'll change the size this to fit the same size 130 yeah that's cool and also yeah now let's connect everything and see how animation work so the trick here is to synchronize our loading uh, component because it is loading uh, our um, interactive progress bar is loading automatically and we need to synchronize all this so let's connect this and hit after delay And let's give it here 600 millisecond so this time we'll wait 600 millisecond until we load this screen and also here let's keep it at 800 also for that after delay For this screen it will be 300 millisecond after delay 300 smart animate 800 millisecond and for the last screen after delay let's wait one second or um, 1000 millisecond and let's keep the default settings all right now let's go to our prototyping let's hit play and let's see our animation all right so this loading and scrolling images and then it will go to our screen let's hit R to see again also you can see it is loading yes all right that was everything for today's video don't forget to like 
and hit the subscribe button and I will see you in another video.